So as you can see, these tail lights are all busted up. Uh, this one was cracked. The other one actually worked fine, but for the price of putting a bulb in, I could just spend a little bit more and put brand new LEDs in. So I'm going to swap those out. It's pretty easy to get them out. You just need a Phillips head screwdriver, pop it off, and the cover comes off. And you pop the bulb out. It's a sealed bulb. There's actually two bulbs in there, and you cannot replace that. You have to replace that whole unit. So you're going to cut wires anyway. So these are the ones I replaced them with, just West Bar. It's the exact same thing, only an LED rather than a conventional. I decided just to clip these and hardwire them in rather than getting a plug for the other side, that style that came on the tail lights. So I just hardwired all of them, clipped those off, clipped off the other side. Here I'm pulling the bracket off. Strip both sides of the wire. And those Klein crimpers are awesome. They were, I went out and bought those and it was so much better than the old. I don't know what I had before, Ampros or something, but they sucked, and these uh, crimpers work great. So I use the waterproof butt splice connectors with the shrink tube. Just make sure when you're stripping the wires back, you don't strip them back so far that when you put it in that butt splice, it doesn't, uh, the shrink tube doesn't go over the insulation. So if you want to make sure that that goes over the insulation, keep it watertight. And then I also put shrink tube over top of those. It's probably overkill, but I think it works better. And it's just another layer. Uh, the only reason it's red is because that was the size that I had. It was red and it fit well, so. And just run over everything with a heat gun. Make sure it's shrunk down the way it should be. Tuck all those wires in and install the light on a trailer. Couple of nuts and bolts. Pretty simple. Here they are working. Quick test. Good to go.